What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new to this, my name is Willie. I'm Melinda. And this is Gabby. Today's videos, we're gonna do a mukbang slash Q&A. Q&A, but with that, we're gonna add a little food to our um, video. We have never tried portillos, 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 whatever that is called. First time trying this. So we are gonna head out to the restaurant and order some food to see if we're gonna like it or not. So let's head out. Let's go get this food. Alright guys, fortunately we could not go inside because the parking lot is packed. But I'm hoping for the wait that this food better be good, man. I swear to God, if it ain't, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back home. It really took us like 30 minutes to get our food. The line was pretty rough. We couldn't go inside because there was no parking spot, but oh well. Um, so yeah, so we got, uh, I want some have a cheeseburger. Uh, I got a cheeseburger with no tomato or mayonnaise. Mayo. Who doesn't like mayo? They got me a cheeseburger as well. Mm, look at that. Everything on it. With everything. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then we have two um, chili dogs, one with cheese. So and good. then Willie got a, uh, what is that called? A Not hot me, dog. Uh, Chicago style hot dog. Some kind basically. of. Basically. Look at that. I low key wanted to try this uh, on your ring. I don't know why, but. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a gummy. Oh, yeah. Chocolate chocolate cake shake. Mm -hmm. I don't like chocolate shakes. Too chocolatey for me. Um, we like ketchup. You like ketchup? Um, yeah. I'm gonna get some ketchup. So it is currently 5.54 p.m. and this is my first meal of the day because I had to work early. I don't think you can go around with the ketchup, babe. Days ago, on the 22nd of April, right. okay. So, next question is Where did we like grow up? So, I was raised, I was born in Mexico, raised in the U.S. when I was four, well, brought here when I was four. Um, sorry, having flashbacks. <laughs> Started um, kindergarten here, like one year later, I didn't know anything, like, I was so scared. Like, I remember the first day. Of school, I started crying, bro. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous. <laughs> oh my! Like literally, you come here to this new country with a whole new people, whole new different people that that with the it's whole diverse here. Yeah, and like you don't know how to speak English. So then I I taught myself how to speak English. From there, we went to a different school uh, for a year and a half. They moved to a different town and. Uh, which in that town it was we lived like maybe like 10 minutes away from it mm -hmm. we, i lived there for like maybe 14 years mm -hmm. and you know i finished my elementary school there my middle school whatever high school my high school graduated in year 2014. for me i lived in one city my whole life i went to the same schools there except the time where um I was like pregnant with Sophia. Then I moved to where he lived. But other than that, we have never lived. Oh, I lied. We had a first, our, our first apartment was in that city also. But other than that, we've only lived in two cities that are like 10 minutes, not even apart. Okay, next question is, how long have me and Willie been dating? So me and Willie have been dating for 
Bye, Mary. We've been dating since August of 20, 2013. Six wow. years in August. So we've been dating since I was 15 and Louie was 17. Yeah, I got pregnant at age 15 and I had to be at age 16. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, next question. How was it being a teen parent? I think it just all depends on like the family you have. Because my family is like a little more strict. So they were very like upset with it, which I know like any parent would be. Um, but so like Willie's family was more accepting in the fact that like we're gonna, you know, have a kid or whatever. Um, my family was more like, they didn't want me to at all. If you know, like, you want to keep it, obviously, like, just stick to it. And after you have the kid, it, like, everything changes. Like, everything. your family changes, how they feel. For me, like, a mom, like, like what uh, Melinda said, my parents were more skeptical about it. Just because I was a guy and she was a girl. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why, but then again, I'll be mad if one of my kids had kids at a young age. We learn from our mistakes. Um, can't go back. You can't go back. You just gotta move on, work, work, and work. <laughs> till you get somewhere and provide for the family, working every day. It could be stressful, but hey, at the end of the day, it all pays off. You got your own place. You have like cars, like you have food in your fridge, like you know, your kids are fed. Mm -hmm. That's really like all that matters, honestly. Okay, so next question is, how did our parents react to us being teen parents? I first told my mother, I was on my way. Yeah? Come on. I go get your headphones. When I first told my mother, I was on my way to school and I told her, and she's like, all right, what are you gonna do? And stuff, I said, well, you know, I gotta work. I gotta talk to the school, see what's up. And the school did help me out a lot. I graduated pretty early, uh, maybe like half a year into the school or whatever. And yeah, they were really, I mean, I, I had to graduate no matter what. Okay, so how my parents reacted, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this because my parents don't really like their information like that. Um, but I'll just do a quick overview. My dad didn't speak to me <clears throat> a lot, like at all, in the beginning. Um, and then my mom, she just didn't want me to have like a baby at all. Now we're good. It's like different now. Yeah. Okay, so next question is, how did we meet? Well, it depends. Like where we met officially was at a, a party. He gave me a ride home. But we didn't talk. I don't know yeah, what the hell you talk. were. We went to McDonald's and I was like behind him in the back seat. And all he did was like ask if I wanted McDonald's. And I said no. Because like my parents are strict. So like I needed to be home right now. Like I didn't have time to be stopping at McDonald's and getting food. But like they didn't know that at the time. And then where we started talking like actually for the first time. Was at like a local like um, festival that we have here. We like hung out a little bit like going on rides. And then like I had to leave. And right, right before I had to leave, this kid freaking buys, like, how much was it? $30 worth of tickets. $30 worth of tickets. And I had to, like, literally, when the lady is handing him the tickets, the people I was with, like, my family, they're like, we gotta go. And I was like, oh my god, like, I felt so bad. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just give you a hug. I'm about to try a chili cheese dog. Mm. <laughs> 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 we got pregnant two months into us dating and like three months into us like knowing of each other like knowing each other and like talking mm -hmm. okay what advice would you give to other teen parents that are currently pregnant it depends honestly you and I stay together so it makes anything more easier it, it makes, yeah, makes it easier it means a single dad and a single mother yeah we get that together Stay together. The guys, all you do is work. Go have, you can still have fun. Uh, leave but the, but have fun like where it's not like you're partying all the time. Like 
You need to have like a good balance of like family days and like going out. Cause then that's only gonna cause like drama between you and your partner, you know? And it, it can be for the, like the mom too. It doesn't have to be the guy going all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And like definitely I would say go on dates sometimes like without the kids so that you guys keep that like chemistry or whatever. Like have some time for yourselves. Cause at the end of the day, you guys are still young and just have, just at least like once a month, like just go on a date or go to the movies and just, you know, have fun. Obviously you would need a job, so definitely look for some type of income. Don't be afraid to ask your school for help if you need help with anything. I'm sure there's like alternative schools especially. I went to an alternative school when I was pregnant and it helped out a lot. Take as much advice as from like uh, somebody that already has a kid. Take advice from them like if you are in a question. Take your pregnancy lightly, because you just never know. Try to just work out your problems with your, you know, your child's father, father or mother, because it really does like affect them if you guys like are arguing. Like, so obviously we ate everything. This is the aftermath. Um, if you like more of our story times and or like you want like more Q and A's, more in depth or whatever. Just let us know down below. If you want us to post more often, let us know. And don't be scared to hit that subscribe button and the like <laughs> button. Please. Wait. Bye bye!